Hello and welcome to this demonstration on Integrity's social media analytics for i2 solution. This system utilizes our social media platform to capture, analyze and structure data ready for i2 analyst notebook so that analysts can take social data and integrate it with existing information to enhance investigations and to understand what's being said on social media sites and by who. Within Analyst Notebook, we have integrated our platform called SMC4. And in the latest version of Analyst Notebook, Analyst Notebook 9, under the Connect option, we have an SMC4 tab. What we have the ability to do is search for content that has already been captured by the SMC4 platform. This will bring together a combination of content from Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and make it available for analysts from within a central system. We use content analytics behind the scenes to understand the content and sentiment of the messages being posted and being captured by SMC4. And we can either filter down based on a particular categorization, we can filter by a date range, or we can filter by a specific social account that we're interested in. When I hit search, this will then make a call back to the SMC4 object store and bring back any related content that matches these criteria. I can then start to filter this content. So if I'm only interested in seeing who or what account has specifically sent out this content, I can filter it that way, or I can even filter it by the actual content within the message itself. And within this message view, we get to understand who's actually sent the message, the platform it's been sent on. And by clicking on the Twitter icon here, we get profile information, such as the picture, a link back to the website, and all the content. And everything we capture as well contains a time and date stamp. So we can start to understand when this particular content was posted. If I then add this selected post to the chart, this will then automatically build out my entities and links. So within our platform and within this plugin, we have automatically put in a social account entity, which is here on the right hand side. We pull back the profile picture information of this account and a link back to that site as well. We also have a sent from link type and the actual social media message itself. Now we've brought back this back onto the chart, we can start to do some expansions to understand a bit more about this particular content. If I right hand click on this message, we also have an SMC4 option here. And what I can look to do, as this is a tweet, I can look to see what's been retweeted and who's actually retweeted this particular message. By clicking on retrieve retweets, this automatically goes back onto Twitter and finds the accounts that have been associated with this uh, post so far. As this bloom expands out, you can see that we bring large amounts of content back to the system very quickly, and it gives an analyst the ability to see who's actually interacted with this particular message. I can also take this expansion, and if I select all, I can also copy this using Analyst Notebook's core functionality to a timeline chart. And what I can do now is if I just group these by time, we can start to understand when these people actually interacted with this particular message. So at the beginning of this timeline, we have this message being sent out onto the social channel. And then we have a big cluster of accounts that have actually retweeted that straight away. As we go through the timeline, we can see when and where other individual accounts actually interacted with this. So we've got another cluster of information here another cluster of accounts that have actually interacted with this content. And towards the end as well, we also get another smaller cluster that have actually interacted with the message here as well. By combining this data with other traditional intelligence formats, you're able to quickly understand how people are interacting with content on social media. And whether it be an event that is happening and you're looking at content around that particular event, you may already have timeline information and you can then slot this social data in around that in order to actually enhance that particular investigation. Other functionality available in the SMC4 plugin is the ability to search for new social media accounts. The way this platform works, you can monitor individual accounts, either owned by an individual person or a business, to understand the public content that they're posting across social sites. I can either run a search for a name or a username across these sites, and this will pull this information back into a central view. By clicking on these accounts, you get to see the platform they originated from and also general location information as well. 
I can also amend this search and just search across a username, and this will display the results specific to that particular username. This can be very handy when an individual is not necessarily using their actual name or using a different alias online uh, to actually search for the right account. What we have down here as well is the ability to monitor this account. What this means is, when an account is monitored by SMC4, all public content posted by that individual account is then picked up, analysed and available for an analyst to utilise. If I add this individual to the chart, this will also add this into the system for monitoring. What it can also do in this search mechanism is search across a specific social channel as well, so Twitter, Facebook or Instagram. And if I just search for another account on this system, I'm going to add them into the chart as well. I now have two different entities on the chart. At the moment, there's no way to connect these two. They're just two completely separate social media accounts. On this particular account, I can right click and go down to the SMC4 option. And I now have the ability to expand. And when we say expand, we can then do an expansion on either friends or followers of this particular account. Now I'm interested in the friends of this particular account. I want to see what this account is actually following. And by clicking on this, it does an automatic lookup back to, in this case, Twitter, and will expand on the previous 100 connections. And we do have the ability to expand on up to 3,000 accounts per call. Now, at the moment, the, account, the second account that I loaded in is completely separate from this bloom of data. However, if I right click on this and go down to the SMC4 option, I also have the ability to view. So this is more of a filtered expand. So if I view friends, this will give me a dialog box based on the people that this particular account is following. Now I can either cycle through, I can select multiples, or I can add all to the chart. Now if I just run this layout, once this bloom builds out, it will automatically position the common accounts in the middle of this particular chart. So these three accounts in the middle that I've just highlighted are connecting the two individual accounts that were originally loaded to the chart, uh, and we now know how they're commonly connected on social media. This is great for investigations when you're trying to pinpoint how people are connected, and again, can be very useful when enhancing existing investigations to potentially find a missing link of how certain people are connected. Any of these new accounts on the chart, I also have the ability to right-hand click, and I can either monitor these accounts, meaning that this content that this account posts will also be picked up by the SMC4 service, or I can expand on this, uh, on these people's friends or followers again. And again, it will build out this chart and any common connections that connect all three individuals will be able to be automatically identified by the system and brought into the middle between the blooms. We can now see that our common accounts between the account on the top here and the account uh, on the right hand side and on this, on this side, we also have two other accounts that are commonly connected. This is great for understanding how people are connected on social media, and it's very quick and easy in order to actually expand on this amount of content. On this example chart, I've done the same expansion, but expanded on how many accounts I've brought back, and we've now got near enough a thousand accounts on a central chart. What I've also done is use i2's conditional formatting, so any of the accounts highlighted by a red link are connected to two individuals on the chart, and those accounts highlighted by a blue link that you can see in the middle are actually connected to all three individuals that we're interested in. This plugin really does enable you to take social media data and utilise it incredibly quickly. It's also worth noting at this stage, these charts can be saved either as just an analyst notebook chart, or they can also be uploaded to an analyst repository as well. So if you have an iBase system, an I2 analyzer or an EIA system, all of this data can be saved and then can be expanded upon at a later date and shared across individuals across your organization. So it's not just limited just to analyst notebook charts, it can very much be expanded across your wider intelligence platform. On this next example chart, I've just expanded on some of the content that's already been captured by the platform, but also contains geolocation information. So if messages, are posted and contain geostamps by the end users, this information is also passed through into Analyst Notebook. I can select all of this content and I can map these information. This content can also be mapped out using plugins such as Google Earth or Esri. 
if I just double click on the content, this will then zoom down and show me where this actually originated from. In this particular example, we've created a geofence within SMC4 and actually geofenced Heathrow Airport. So we can start to understand where content is being posted within this particular, particular location. At the top here, we also have a timeline view, so we can start to see as and when posts come into play, they're automatically populated onto the chart. So most of this information is just being picked up from various terminals in Heathrow Airport. However, if you're particularly interested in understanding how social media content is happening in certain locations across the world, you have the ability to understand this using this tool. Previously, this type of exercise would be very difficult to actually visualize. Now using a combination of the SMC4 plugin and the built-in IBM i2 tools, you're able to actually analyze and make use of social media data as actionable intelligence. Back within i2 Analyst Notebook, you also have the ability to monitor and manage the accounts within the system. So all of these accounts are currently being loaded in and currently being monitored by the platform. If at any time you want to remove any of these accounts, you can simply select any of them and actually remove them from the system. This can be completely controlled from within Analyst Notebook, so you don't have to go into any browser interfaces or any other products in order to actually manage the processes and the accounts that you're capturing information from. If you'd like any further information on anything you've seen at all today, then please visit the website at smcapture.com forward slash i2 forward slash analysts hyphen notebook or get in contact with myself at sam underscore clive at integrity.com.